What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this next question, we're told that we have this function here, f of x equals 2x cubed minus mx squared plus x minus 5m. And then we're told the remainder when that function, when that polynomial is divided by x minus two, is four times as large as the remainder when that same polynomial, f of x, is divided by x plus one. And we have to find that m value. Notice the m value is in two places for the function. So this question is not bad. Uh, basically gonna use the remainder theorem. There's gonna be some algebra involved. Now, what we wanna do is create expressions for the remainders for these two divisors. So notice that we have a divisor x minus two, and then we have a divisor x plus one. So what we'll do here, we'll write the uh, two different expressions for the remainders. Now, by the remainder theorem, if you're taking a polynomial, dividing it by x minus two, what's the remainder gonna be? It's gonna be f of two. So what we would do is we would plug in two for all the x values. So notice we'd have two to the power of three, which is eight times two, which is 16, minus two to the power of two, which is four times m. So that's gonna be minus four m plus two minus 5m, like that. So I just took two, plugged it in for all the x values. And then here, if we simplify this, then we would end up with 18, right? The 16 and the two minus 9m. So that's what f of two is. So that means that that's what the remainder is going to be when f of x is divided by x minus two. Now, if it's gonna be divided by x plus one, then the remainder is gonna be f of negative one. So we'd plug in negative one for all the x values. So negative one to the power of three is negative one times two is negative two. Minus negative one to the power of one is positive one times m is just m. So we have a minus m there. Um, minus one minus five m, like that. And then simplifying this, negative two minus one is negative three, minus m minus five m gives us minus six m. So that there, minus three minus six m is the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus one. Like that. And now that we have these expressions, we can make an equation from this sentence here. We're told the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus two, so this remainder is four times as large as this remainder. Meaning that if we, meaning this one's the larger one, this is the smaller one, if we take the smaller remainder, I'll put it in brackets, if we multiply that by four, we would get the larger remainder. Right, so we made an equation with those two remainder expressions. And now we could just solve for m. So we would have distribute the four, negative 12 minus 24 m equals 18 minus nine m. Bring the 18 over. So negative 12 minus 18 is negative 30. And then negative nine m plus 24 m, this would become a positive. That would give us what? 15 m, positive 15 m. Divide both sides by 15, m would be negative two. And so that's what the answer is. So the polynomial, the m value is negative two. They didn't ask what the polynomial would actually be, but if we do, if they do ask for the polynomial, it would basically be f of x equals two x cubed um, minus two minus here, that'd be a positive two x squared plus x and then negative two times negative five is positive 10. So that's what the polynomial there is, right? And you could test it out if you want. You could take this polynomial, divide it by x minus two, divide it by x plus one, and then see if that relationship holds where this remainder is gonna be four times as large as that one. So if you have time on the test, that's how you could check your answer, right? But the final answer is m is equal to negative two. 